Let's talk about what it was like growing up in a household where we were just so adamant about what we put in your mouth. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say that you were that adamant about what I put in my mouth. I mean, everything in moderation. Uh, you definitely didn't hold back on holidays and special occasions. You let us go all out and eat Halloween candy and have that Christmas pie. That's just because <laughs> we're cool parents. Yeah, I'm talking about <laughs> in the house, we never brought the, the junk in the house. And so, yeah, not day having to day it basis. around definitely helps because every child wants to have sugar and eat sugar because it's addictive. And definitely not having it around, not having it in the house made it easier to stay strict on what I put in my body. Because, I mean, what you eat is so important, um, especially because when I was younger, I would get my, like when I was really young, my stomach would hurt all the time. Every single day I would complain about my stomach hurting, not realizing that it was the food that I ate every single day, all that gluten that I was eating was destroying my body on the inside. So having to switch, especially back in like, what was this, 05? The gluten-free options were not very... Um, <laughs> they were like cardboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't have much of an option. Nowadays, you could switch gluten-free and it would be... Piece of cake. Just a little bit more expensive. But right. other than that, you do not tell a difference. I remember having to send you guys to birthday parties and you had to show up with your own gluten-free pizza, which really wasn't a very tasty pizza. No. <laughs> it was like just this little tiny square cardboard pizza. <laughs> a gluten-free piece of cake or a something. Little, a little cupcake. <laughs> yeah, a cupcake. <laughs> a little cupcake that I could eat or some ice cream. You guys were awesome, though. You both never complained about it. Kids teased you about not being able to eat the real hot, juicy pizza coming out, you know, to their Those party. school lunches every single day. It was either peanut butter and jelly or meat and cheese, and it never wavered. She never surprised me, you know. I never, <laughs> I never opened my lunchbox and was like, wow, something new and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least you had a lunchbox. Yeah, at least I had a lunchbox. At least I had food that didn't make me sick and didn't make me feel terrible. Um, so I'm. I will say, trying to raise kids gluten free through all those years, it was extremely challenging because even adults are picky on what we like to eat, and I guess a lot of it you didn't know better because you didn't. You know, you guys were so young when you were. Yeah, I didn't converted. know what real apple juice tastes like. <laughs> 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 Who knew she was watering it down all those years? <laughs> First time I had a Capri Sun, my head almost exploded. <laughs> Rainbows literally came out of your head. <laughs> Just like the commercials. 